Well, new at five, a record number of people in the U.S. died by suicide last year, and the number of attempts historically peak in the fall. That's why this month, 11 Alive investigative reporter Rebecca Lindstrom says one local hospital is taking a fresh look at how we help teens. Ika Brown's body is covered in tattoos that help tell the story of her life. And he wrote and published a poem in which he compared me to a paper crane. From favorite moments to heartbreaking loss, like her brother's handwriting, all the more precious after he died by suicide. That says you are not alone. If you need anything, I'm here. It is a powerful message Dr. John Constantino with Children's Healthcare of Atlanta wants to give to every youth that comes through its doors, especially those who have attempted or had thoughts of suicide. One of the great enemies of the way the mental health system is set up at present is that care is extraordinarily fragmented. That's why Children's has a new vision. The Zalik Center, a behavior and mental health care clinic to pull together the missing pieces. It will work with children on Medicaid, provide DBT and CAMS care to treatment methods hard to find in the metro. It will take ownership of cases even if the person goes to a residential treatment facility first. And instead of waiting weeks, care will start immediately. Dr. David Jobes developed one of the therapies children's plans to use. And we treat the problems that the patient says makes them consider suicide, which we call drivers. And those are mostly relational issues or issues around vocation or issues of how people feel about themselves. As simple as that sounds, Brown, who also attempted suicide several times in her youth, says in all her years of therapy, she never received that kind of care until going through drug addiction recovery. I hated treatment centers. I hated being in mental hospitals. I hated being in places where I had to wear grippy socks. Now a hospital chaplain and advocate with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, Brown knows getting the right help early can change the canvas of one's life. I had such severe depression as an adolescent and I didn't have the words for it. I didn't have the resources to be open and speak about my experiences and I felt invalidated. Brown still may not have all the words, but her brother did leave her with a few that are pretty important. This one up here says, I am proud of you. It really is an important topic and it's good to see different organizations and groups coming together to try and find new ways to address these issues because yeah. it really is difficult. And sometimes people just need someone to listen yeah. and care and say, I am proud of you. You are worthy. You are cared for. Mm -hmm. so. And this is good information for people who may have someone in their life needing help as well. So if you or a loved one need help, don't forget, you can always call 988. The 24 hour crisis line is available at any time. We have also posted a longer version of our story uh, as this uh, young lady that you just heard from this brave young woman, Eka Brown, uh, shares advice on helping those with thoughts of suicide. That's on our website, 11alive.com right now.